Hello, I'm Adam Lashley and I'm going to teach you to paint. I'm going to show you every brush, every color, and every technique that you'll need to do this painting today. So let's just get to the video. Enjoy. Okay, I'm going to start today by grabbing my two inch brush and laying in a colorful little sky. And for that, I'll just touch just a little of this thalo blue. Really don't need too much. Now kind of spread it even in the bristles. And I'll just come up and start in this corner right here. All right. And just kind of back and forth, just kind of a streakiness to it. Going to be several colors in the sky, so you don't need too much. And then I'm just going to take and do this right here. Just streaking it through so it'll help it blend when I set in the other colors. All right, I want to be careful to keep it pretty light right in this area. Okay, now I'm going to go get some of this purple color. All right, it's just a color I pre-mixed up. It's got a little bit of bright red and, and phthalo blue in it. And again, a very light tap on that. Very light tap. And right over in here. And let me see. Come up and... Get a little bit more of that crimson in there. All right, just bring it over just to about there. And now I'm going to come up and just get some crimson. And we'll just streak this in as, as well. There we go. I know it doesn't look like much now, but we're going to blend this. We're going to work with it, and it's going to look really good. And this is a simple way to put it in a sky that anyone can do. Any, anyone can do this, I promise you. All right, let me go to a clean brush. And I'll just start over in the blue. And just go back and forth and just blend this. Okay. And what I, once I get up to these colorful areas, I'm just going to just go over it. See that? Simply just going back and forth along the streaks until it blends in to the point that I'm satisfied. That's all you have to do. And look at all that color that's in that sky already. And to me, that just looks really, really good. I'm going to come up and just get a little bit of this bright red. A lot of people call it bright red. That is actually a cadmium red. About the same tones, really. I'm just going to emphasize just some of these clouds. Brighten them up. That's all I'm doing. Brighten up some of these, some of these streaky areas or distant clouds, whatever you want to call them. Just a little. Okay. Go back to... A blending brush over here and go over that. All right. Now I'm going to take that same brush, two inch brush. I'm just going to come right into some titanium white. And one more time just to brighten these, just like that. Streak them in there just for some, some bright spots. Okay. And then again, I'll take a, a blending brush and just go over it. Okay, one final thing. We'll be done with the sky. And I'm just going to take any brush. I just happen to grab a one-inch oval brush. And I'm going to come right into a little bit of this cad yellow. And I just need a very little bit. See, I, I put hardly any on my palette. Just a little tiny bit on the bristles is all you really need and right over here in this this lighter area that we left light on purpose i'm going to streak in a little bit of this yellow let that streak in there once you hit that you don't want to go over it too much or it might start to look green just right there okay and that's all we're going to do with that okay we'll start to work on the ocean now and for that I'm going to grab a palette knife and just 
mix up some phthalo blue and some phthalo green. Real simple. Real simple. Don't, don't even have to mix it super good. Those different tones coming out are going to, they're going to look great. Okay. And as I grab my, my two inch brush over here, I just want to ask you all that, you know, those who are enjoying these paintings, if you would be so kind to subscribe to the channel, it would really mean a lot to me. Hit the like button, those sorts of things. That's important for folks doing videos on YouTube. Okay, so I just used my same two inch brush and I'm just gonna come right up here and I'm just gonna try to be as straight as I can, all right? Just lay in a water line. Once I get to moving, I don't stop. Don't stop. And just get it as straight as you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Love it. And we'll just get some more and just work it down. We'll leave a little bit of this over here because we're going to have some land right in that corner, bottom right corner. Okay. All right, I'm going to grab one of the dirtier brushes now and I'm just going to come up and grab some Van Dyke Brown. And right over in this corner, right about, oh, right about here, we'll just put in some, some land. That'll be a little beach. Kind of looks like a hill right now, but it, it won't when we're done with it. Tap a little bit of that black. Just make sure it's nice and dark. We're going to have reflections on it, so the dark colors will help that show a little bit. Okay. You know, I think I'll just extend some of this all the way, all the way that way. Beach is going to kind of wrap around there. Just about like that. Okay. And I'm going to grab some Van Dyke Brown. Touch a little black. And right over here, I'm just going to build a little far away, a little rocky area right in here. I'm just touching it, dabbing it. Doesn't have to be too precise. We'll get some, you know, some different shades on these rocks here in a little bit. But right now, I'm just, just, I just need to see this. I just need to see it in there. See if I like the tone of it or if I want to you know, make it a little darker. Let it come out and come around just a little. Somewhere right in there, I think will work. I grab a palette knife now, and we'll mix up a little highlight color for those rocks. Now, just take a little white. I got some room to work right there, and a little black. Mix that in. Let's get a little of that purplish color. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so we'll just come back here and just try to make these look like rocks if we can. All right, I'm just barely, barely touching this in spots. That's all I'm doing. Reload the palette knife as necessary. There we go. Just barely touching it, just in some spots. That's all you got to do. All right, let's stick with that palette knife. We're going to come up and just get some titanium white. 
on the end of the knife and put some water lines right out in here. There we go. Just bring it on around the entire rock area. All right. And if you got a line like that, you can always just kind of push it up, make it a little thinner. I'm bringing it around even on the top here a little bit. Okay. See it come on around, but you could work with that line. It is no big deal. You're not going to hurt it at all. Even a little brown coming into the ocean look just fine. Okay. And since that palette knife is working so well, we'll just continue on with it. Come up here and grab some more titanium white. And let's just build a little beach line right here. So I'm just going to start right up in here. Kind of work my way around, going over the brown a little bit. Okay. Just kind of wiggle it. But we're not done yet. That's just the first time we're going to do that right there. Okay. Now, eh, let me grab a cleaner brush. Here's a brush that's a little cleaner. I'm going to come right here. Regardless of the angle of the brush, I'm going to pull straight down. All right? Just tapping a little bit or grabbing a little bit of that white. Pulling straight down as best as I can. Okay? Straight down. Then, like always with reflections, you just kind of go across. And I think you're going to start to see this as a beach now instead of a big hill of sand. All right. That's reflections right there. There we go. Drag some of that white back that way. That'll look good. I'll grab a clean fan brush and let me just take some of this right through here and just kind of. Bring it backwards, that's all. Kind of drag it back. Some of those waves, you just, just kind of barely hit some of that, some of the white there. Drag it on back. All right, it's a process, but it, it works. Or at least this works for me. You can, you can see if it works for you or not. All right. Drag some of them ripples back, that's all you can. That's all you got to do. Okay, now grab the palette knife one more time. Get some more white. And let's do it again. There we go. And again, I'll grab my fan brush. Just bring all that back, all that stuff that I don't really care for. Just drag it back. And again, no matter how, how I touch it, whatever angle it is, I try to pull it horizontal. That takes a little getting used to. Not easy to do. I think the natural tendency is to kind of pull it on the angle of the brush until you get used to that. Okay. All right, now I can take a little liner brush and I'll get, oh, just a little bit of this dark color, about any dark color. I'll just use black. Roll that through there. Roll it through pretty good. And you can just go through on these little foam areas and just kind of highlight the bottoms of them in spots and that'll help them stand out a little bit kind of stands them up some. Okay. All right, let me take a, a clean brush and get a little bit of titanium white. See if I can help these reflections out just a little bit. Make them a little longer, a little more visible. There we go. Okay, and of course go across. There 
and maybe put a few more white streaks in the sand this way. Okay, now this is where you really have a lot of discretion. I'm going to grab a pretty clean fan brush. Totally clean would probably be better, but and I'm just going to go right into some titanium white. Load it up pretty good. Okay. And like I said, you could do a lot of things here. You could put small ripples. You could put a big, huge crashing wave. Whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to start back up in here. I'll start towards the center. I'm just going to bring in some waves like this. See, I'm just kind of hitting, and I, I guess I'm pulling downward a little bit. Kind of looking at the angle I think they may be coming into this scene. All right. Just kind of kind of randomly. Now right here, I'm not going to touch that too much. You can see this is just a great effect. It turned out really good. You got that light color and the dark color. Those are the things that you need in your painting. Okay. All right. Let's let's see. Let's see. Let's do right here. I'm going to take the brush. Let me show you what I'm about to do. I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to push it and pop it that way. See that? And make those type of waves. And so just kind of right here. There we go. Just making some bigger splashing. Whatever little waves going on, then I'll take the bottom of those and drag it out. Kind of make it look like a wave in the water. Ain't that cool? And looking at this, I don't think I'm going to do a big, huge crashing wave. Just, just something about like that. I think that's right for this painting. So that's all I'm going to do. I'll do another little one right over here. Again, just kind of bring the the wave down this way like it's coming into this shore right here. See that? Ain't that neat? Extend that one a little bit. And let's see. Let's do another one. Let's do another one right here. Coming in kind of like that. And again, we'll just bring down the bottoms of this wave coming into the shore. That neat. Very, very simple, and in my opinion, very, very effective. Let me grab my palette knife and let's just put a little bit more of a line right here. There we go. Just a little. All right. I'm going to stick with that palette knife and let me come up here and get some black. I'll mix it with a little Van Dyke. Van Dyke Brown, and let's just build a rock coming out right over in here. And just, just getting some color in here. That's a lot of rock, ain't it? Okay. Something like that. We'll see what that looks like. And we'll do like we did before. We'll make a highlight color. And let's see, let's get some of this. Want several different tones in there, in my opinion, for these, these highlights. Let's see what that looks like. Start right up here at the top. Oh, not light enough. Let me get some more. More color. There we go. Like that a little better. And just touched it and dragging it down. Okay. There we go. Touching it and dragging it down. That's all I'm doing. Just lightly. And right there. Pulling it and dragging it down. Okay. I'm 
now I'll stick with that pallet knife, get some get some clean white. And let's let's put some water lines in this thing as well. There we go. Around that way. That might even reflect some right there. That's, that's all good. Grab this brush. Pull all that down. Let that reflect. Try to get a little right there. And we'll bring that across. Good. Go back to that knife. Put these lines back in. Something like that. Just got to work with it just a second. Okay. Go back to my fan brush. A little white on there and it'll pop up a couple, couple waves on that thing. That'll help it. Bring the waves back. Put a couple right there too. There we go. All right, maybe I'll take and brighten up just a couple little spots on this rock. Just a couple spots. Right? Just a couple little shiners in there. Just a little bit. About right there. Okay. Maybe a little more shine. Right there. Okay, and with a sky like that, you'd almost have to have a bird or two off in the distance. So I'll just take this liner brush and roll it through some black. Really try to get the tip of that thing as sharp as I can. Okay. Way back here. Let's put it way back here. And I'm just going to just touch and touch again. These birds, you don't want to keep going over. Just let it be. Same thing. Just touch, touch again. Sharpen this up just a little bit. And let's try, let's try one more. A little touch. Touch again. That's all you got to do. Okay, let's do one more thing. With a cliff like that, you'd almost have to have a lighthouse on it. So I'm going to take this liner brush and get a little bit of this titanium light. Okay. And let's come right up here. Well, I hope you can see this. And how about no taller than about that right there? Okay. And you just really got to take your time. I'm going to have to turn my arm over here. I know that's hard to see. But that's what I'm going to have to do. Okay, that's certainly not going to be perfect. It should work for the painting. Okay, let me grab a liner that's got a dark color on it. Okay, and let's see, right up here at the top, all I'm going to do is draw a couple lines this way. Okay. Draw a couple going up and put a little top on this thing. Okay. There we go. And on this side over here, probably have to have a little bit of a shadow just to make it look round. 
and I'll just pull it up a couple times. I really know that it's, it's hard for you to see this. But I'm just trying to blend it till it kind of looks like it's got a, a rounding effect. That's all I'm doing. A little shadow on the back side. Take my white liner and hit it again. And let's see. We'll put something in here that looks like a little, little door, window, whatever that is. Take my palette knife and just kind of blend out the bottom of that just a little bit. Make it look like the rock's kind of over the front of it. There we go. And with that, I think we'll call this one complete. I really hope you enjoyed this painting. I hope you'll give it a try. And remember, if I can paint, you can too. See you next time.